Hello again, Chargers. I'm Melissa Arkenbright. And I'm Sophia Prothero. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. On Friday, Northwest Christian College is visiting from 904 to 934 in the library, and Pomona College will be here from 1222 to 1252 outside the Career Center. The Lemon Festival is looking for volunteers this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Gersh Park. You can earn up to eight hours of community service per day for this event. Pick up an application inside the Career Center and turn it in by Thursday. If you are applying to college this year and need to fill out the brag sheet in Naviance, come out to the Dell Library in the library this week during seminar and get it done. In order to be able to attend, you must sign up and this can be done on the DP website under Seminar and Workshops. And now, a video from Leadership. Hey Diego, past the Friday night to San San Luis Obispo. Uh, you want to hang out? No, I think I was going to go to the big post game party. When is that? It's right after the game. This Friday? Yeah. Against San Luis Obispo, right? Yeah. Yes. Shoot, how much does it cost? Well, it's three dollars a pound. Well, card, but if you buy one, it's free. I heard you can get one at the business office. Oh yeah, they're sixty bucks. I heard you can get one online too. That's right, guys. Kellen Roberts, now that you've scored seven touchdowns against Slow and you've won the game, what are you gonna do next? After the game, thinking about going to the post game party. Hey, who I'm saying. She my NYPYT. She my NYPYT. She my pretty young thing, and I do anything. Wow, sounds fun. There's a job resource fair on Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Doubletree Hotel. For more information, visit the Daily Bulletin on the DP website. Juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, if you ordered pictures from Charger Check-In or Freshman Orientation, they are available to pick up at lunch all week in P2. Our haunted house is still looking for actors. You can either participate only during seminar on Thursdays or after school on Thursdays. The actual haunted house will take place on October 28th and 29th. There will also be one dress rehearsal on October 27th. Please talk to Mr. Sayer in the EPAC as soon as possible if you're interested. That's it for us, Chargers. I'm Sophia Prothero. And I'm Melissa Argenbright. Now over to Caleb with your sports report. Dos Pueblos was well represented yesterday at the weekly Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable lunch. For girls volleyball, second year coach Dylan Bennett credited the team's success to play as senior standouts and captains Danica Minich and Jackie Holmes. Minich was moved from middle to outside hitter and has, quote, thrived ever since. Holmes, on the other hand, is learning how to run the offense and her improvements are showing up in the win column. The Chargers play against undefeated Ventura today at home before taking on Santa Barbara on the road this Thursday. Boys water polo is off to an okay start. Leading the way for the Chargers are senior Luke Plant and freshman Ethan Parrish. Both are hardworking individuals who are playing a lot of minutes and embracing leadership roles. The boys open up South Coast tournament play in Orange County against a tough Santa Margarita team on Thursday. Coach Mendoza gave a shout out to the offensive line for not allowing a single sack all game last Friday. He also shouted out Isaac Lefty Lopez as the team's leading tackler and Michael Elbert, who is a free safety doing a great job quarterbacking the defense. Individually, Bella Vigna of the girls golf team was given an honorable mention award and Marcellus Gossett of the Dos Pueblos football team was honored as the athlete of the week, which is a pretty big deal. Congrats, dog. Girls tennis takes on Santa Barbara this afternoon at 3. As always, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Hey DP, what's up? I'm Nico. I'll be the person that does all your pop culture news. Sunday was the 68th annual Emmy Awards with the winners like Game of Thrones for Outstanding Drama Series, Sherlock the Abominable Bride for Outstanding Television Movie, and Julia Louis de Fuss for Outstanding Lead Actress in, comedy ser in the Comedy Series, who dedicated her win to her father who died just two days earlier. In other news, it's apparently a big deal that Tom Brady, the quarterback of the New England Patriots, has never eaten a strawberry. Wait, what? Tom Brady's never eaten a strawberry. Are you kidding me? 
And he, can anybody tell me why he hasn't eaten a strawberry? Are you kidding me? Strawberries are so good. They're, so they're just good. like, they're just like, I mean, the seeds are a little weird because they're like all around it, but come on, strawberries are so freaking good. And lastly, 12-year-old singer Grace Vanderweld won the crown and $1 million on America's Got Talent. This was after she was predicted to be the next winner after Taylor Swift by Simon Cowell back in June. That's all, for your D that's all for this week, DP. I'm Nico with your pop culture news. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your surf and weather report. Hey, DP. I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey, Sky. Why did this pig stop sunbathing? I don't know. Why did the pig stop sunbathing? He was baking in the heat. Ha! Good one. Looks like today's temperatures will be a high of 85 degrees and a low of 62 degrees with a 90% humidity. Tomorrow's temperatures will be a little bit cooler, but not much with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 60 degrees. The humidity tomorrow will be 71%, so make sure to wear cool attire. The surf for today will be an extremely high of 5.8 feet and a low of 0.04 feet. And tomorrow's surf will have smaller waves with a high of 5.7 and a low of 0.05. So tomorrow is great for some tide pooling. And shred the gnar, my friends. Have a rad day. Okay.